Well, 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 we are back in the world of South Florida and we got one of our friends, James. What's going on, James? What's going on? Uh, we're gonna attempt to catch some of these green, how do you say, abanis? Uh, amoebas. Amoebas, I, I was way up. <laughs> our boy James hit us up. He said that there's a, there's a kind of a little bit of a problem here in this neighborhood. So real quick, we're gonna show you the lizard that he's already caught. And then we're also gonna try to catch them ourselves. That's pretty cool, man. Let's see what we got. So I chased this guy down and end up pulling him out of the rain gutter. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh shoot. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why is right. Just calm down, buddy. And so unlike the iguanas that I've caught, this guy actually tries to bite me. So. Mm, yeah. He's pretty feisty. Pretty feisty. You don't want to get man, he by is that. pretty. He's pretty and he's huge, dude. Yeah. That thing is probably like, what, a good 15 inches, maybe? Yeah. Good foot and a half. Let me throw him back in here before I get bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Calm down, buddy. <laughs> Calm down. A couple questions for you. So we're gonna go, um, we have traps. We have to get some bait and then we're gonna see if we can locate more of them and we're gonna see if we can trap them. That's the game plan, yeah, right? Yeah, that and try to catch them around the house. I started getting underneath the uh, back porch and uh, they're digging underneath the pavers. Mmm, those bad, bad lizards. Yep. Let's get to it, James, you ready? Yep. Let's do it. I'm trying to figure out how to go into the trap. Oh, he's in, dude. Silly lizard. These things, believe it or not, they bite pretty hard. Pretty sweet. Fat right there. Guys, these are curly tail lizards. We have them all over here in Florida. I'm with my boy James. We just caught him. Drop some comments if you know where they're from. We're gonna go ahead and put this guy in the back and we're gonna see if we can get those amoebas. Isn't that right, James? Yep. We got a duck back there. Look at his eyes. Look at the eyes on that duck. Both of the eyes are like that. Guys, drop some comments if you guys know what's wrong with that duck's eyes. All right, you guys hang out here, all right? Here we're with our buddy James. James, tell us a little bit about what you have going on. I know you just started a YouTube channel, right? Yeah, so me and my buddy, we started a YouTube channel. Mostly what we do is fishing and hunting. We did also just build a uh, overland vehicle. A Jeep, right? A Jeep, a Jeep Gladiator Eco Diesel that we have outfitted for extended camping. We actually just did a review on it, just to check it out. A little bit about this, you dude. You got the bottom land, real tree, and then like my personal favorite, which is the one I'm wearing right now, is the gray. It kind of goes with everything. Uh, yeah, I see. I see you. I see you. I see. What? I get to have one of these hats. So you guys go check out our boy. If it's cold, that's fine. I didn't. I... Yeah. James, you seen that? You seen that lizard before, or what? No. Man, okay. You can spot lizards like I would not believe. But I'm just shocked to see all these lizards, guys, living in the same ecosystem right here, like literally in the same block. Oh, this is not him. Oh no, you got a curly this tail. Is Wait, is this the same? Oh, it is him actually. Is it him or no? I don't know. No, he... that other one's head was way bigger. And way redder, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, we got wow. him. We got him, we got Very him. Nice. <laughs> there's so, another one. There's something living. There's another one in there? He's he's sleeping. He's like, I don't know if he's, I don't know what he's doing, but he's in there. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's a lizard, it's a lizard. Yeah, yeah, we don't know. I see his head right here. Yeah, his head is under there. I'll tell you what, this guy can catch some lizards. Huh? You see him? I don't, I don't see him. Yeah, I think he's following you. Look, you can see him right there. I don't know if you want to get on your hands and knees, but he's right. He's looking right at us. Oh yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah. Holy crap. There you go. Huge. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, look at him. He's just, he's just like. Oh, oh that is a big one. Yeah, he's fat. All right. Uh, you want to try to lift it? We'll leave it here, and uh, hmm. maybe we should leave it, or you think we should try getting him out? Do you have a net? I was gonna say if we have a cast net. Uh, the thing is, he's here, he's right here. Uh, I'd hate to, you know, lose him. Or, or I, I, I say just if you guys are confident and gonna go in there and try to grab a cricket, then just leave him there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Leave him there. Maybe he'll get yeah, he'll get in time. He'll go in there for sure. All right. All right. Yeah. If anything, you have my number. Call me. All right. All right. Thank you. All right, dude. Thank you. 
We have a team out here. James brought me to one of his favorite fishing spots. Just put me on beautiful butterfly peacock right here. He shout out to our boy James. Uh, doorstep adventures right there. Gorgeous specimen, James. Tell me a little bit about this fish, dude. So these are peacock bass. Um, they're actually were brought in to help control um, invasive tilapia. Oh, really? And uh, they kind of started taking over the canals, but now they're considered a sport fish. So there is a, even though they're invasive, there's a size limit and you only keep two per day. And I think it's, don't quote me on this, but I think it's 16 inches. Uh, you only allowed to keep one over that. That nice. Wow. And she's, a, this one's a female. Yeah, she's a young, young male. Super pretty is right. Look at that pattern. Look at the colors. Even the peacock eye on it. I love the throats. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Beautiful, like, peach mango colored throat right there. Uh, chartreuse green. Got the, the barring. This species, as bright as it is in the water, it, it, it camouflages so well in the weeds that when a bait is swimming around unexpectedly, it's already too late. Can I send them back? Yep. Send them back. Yeah. We're just out. We're, uh, I have. I'm still catching with the with the fishing pole and yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now, right now is a good time to catch them because right now it looks like they're trying. They're starting to try to dig over here. You see that? Yeah. They're trying to drop those eggs. So right now is a good time to catch them. But yeah, today's my day off. I'm just hanging out with my bud. You can catch whatever you want, bro. Yeah. Sweet. All right, we're gonna keep our they eyes open. They got the little babies now. You ever see the little ones? The little tiny yeah, yeah, ones? yeah. They're, they're all off. over that way. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, dude, we'll keep our eyes open. We're gonna see if we can get some. So you remove them all, huh? Yeah, and we be eating them too. My buddy James just ate his first iguana. Yeah, I just I I made, made tacos. A video. Really? I made tacos. Look at him. He's like, yo, heck, he's like, nah. Bro, tastes <laughs> like chicken. Holy cow. Tastes like chicken. Different legs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dude. We'll keep our eyes open, man. Thanks, dude. Yeah, look at this hole right here, dude. Yeah. Massive. So what do you do? What do you do in a situation where there's a hole like that, dude? You just bury it? Yeah. Oh, very, right? Yeah, very, yeah. You know what? They're, they're good diggers, man. Better than people think, right? Try to dig everywhere. Try. In the banks too, right? Yep, they're yep. They're you trying. see it all, huh? We see it all, dude. Look at that beast right there, guys. Alpha spiny tail. Silly turtle. It's just trying to find a place to make a nest. Wow, guys, you guys are seeing it right here, man. Baby, baby turtle, he's out. Looks like he just hatched. Dude, this place is awesome. Hey, you're not gonna believe it, bro. I casted my rod over there and I was looking at a baby turtle and when I ran back, I saw a bass jumping. I was like, what the heck? And then I reeled up and check it out. Is he hooked good? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's hooked good. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and put him back, man. All right. Nice. All right. What, what do we see? Do a peacock? We got a couple of peacocks down here. We just pitched out a live shiner. So hopefully they are. Uh... Oh, I think you just got tight, bro. You're tight. Ooh. Oh, he's a pretty one. Ooh, look at that. A little male. Sweet. A lot of people don't see peacock because the only place you can catch them is Florida and the Amazon. How can you tell if it's a boy or a girl, dude? All right, so you see right here how he's starting to get a hump? Mm-hmm. The males get a hump. They'll just be straight. Ah, oh, okay. He is pretty. Bright green, dude. Beautiful colors. We'll go ahead and send him back on his way. All right, guys, so there goes the turtle right there. And we're thinking about maybe catching him because, hey, if there's a bass out here or a peacock or a snakehead, he's got to get murked. Right there, he doesn't, he doesn't really know what's going on. He probably just hatched. But we're gonna go see if we can get a cast net and maybe throw it up. Same, same baby size? No, no, that one's the little guy. You see him just swimming up to us? Where is he? Oh, yeah, yeah, down there. Wow. Yeah, I see him. He's deep. Is that a turtle? It's gotta be. It's swimming. Yeah, it's swimming. It's moving. What on earth? Where's the baby? There's the baby. I really want that. Oh, the baby got spooked. Oh, the baby just got murked. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we gotta save him, dude. I'm gonna get the net ready, all right? 
Guys, we're in the most craziest area ever. We have fish, we have turtles, we have iguanas. We just found this new area and we have permission to hunt. Stay tuned because me and my boy, buddy James, we're gonna come back here and we're gonna hunt. But right now we're just kind of scoping the area out and then we're gonna do a special iguana removal mission in operation, so to speak. But right now, the operation is to go get that turtle and save him from those bad, bad bass. Let's get it. Hey, dude. All right, guys, good news. We got the, uh, our friend Franklin right here. Check this out, baby. And then we see his brother right there. His brother's legit basking right there. That is insane right there. Guys, we want to try to save these turtles because there's big fish in here and they could potentially get eaten. And uh, we want to save them, guys. Hashtag Hashtag save the turtles. Hold this guy. I'm going to try to throw the cast. What do you think I should do? Throw the cast in on the thing. Let him spook him into the water and then throw it. All right. I'm going to throw this guy in the bait bucket. Well, in a second. Yeah. All right, Raphael, you going in the pocket for now. Let him go in the pocket for a second. It's all good. It's all right. This is a breathable shirt. We're fine. We want to try to rescue them, guys. There's massive fish in here. And they're going to eat these turtles, guys. Hashtag save the turtles. Turtle. Everyone loves cute turtles. So you can throw them in the water and then get them? If you throw it on that, you're just going to get hung on that. Oh, there he is right there. He just seems to go out a little bit more. There he goes. Oh, he may have dove under it. Raphael! No, buddy. We we're here to save you. Oh, oh no. we got bait, bro. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Sweet. Now, the question is, is this Raphael in here? That's the real question. We got bait. We got food for him. But is he in the net, guys? Let's find out. Let's see here. I don't see him swimming. It did look like it was a good throw. Alright. Not in here. We got beans. Come on, buddy. Alright, we could throw this bait in the bucket, right? Yeah. Let's get that. He could have dove too, they know how to dive. Water's getting warm, that's why. Oh, he's right here. We got him. Oh, we got nice. him. We got him. We got him, dude. <laughs> nice. Sweet. Two for two on the baby turtles. Mwah. You're coming with us, buddy. Couple questions Well, that one for you. has to be Leonardo then, because this one's Raphael. Oh, this is Leonardo. Okay. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, wow. He's feisty. What are these red ear sliders? I don't know. I, I don't know. They have yellow bellies, though. Maybe some viewers at home can help us, guys. What kind of turtles are these? We're gonna go ahead and put the bait, and then we're gonna throw these guys in the bucket as well. And then, yeah, look at them. Yeah. So cute. Super cute. Oh God, they are cute. Oh, the turtles, the baby turtles. Like I said, guys, we wanted to save the turtles because there's big fish in here. And these turtles are swimming on top of the water. It's like a candy, guys, like for a fish. So we wanted to save them and help them. They're just helpless. They're just on top of the water, like beep, 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 beep. Big fish are lurking underneath. They can come torpedo on them and, and teach these guys a fat lesson, but we just saved them, guys. So we're gonna bag them and on to the next. Ready, bro? Yep. Let's get it, dude. You just got slurped, dude. You just got slurped. Barely. He came out. <laughs> That's a nice one. That's gorgeous. 
gorgeous, bro. Look at those colors. I can catch these all day. They're so pretty. So, so pretty. pretty. So much fun to catch. The excitement, the bite, the fight, the land, and then you have a gorgeous fish. And if you ever do keep them, they do actually taste pretty good. Really? Yeah. Nice. Like I said, guys, two per day per angler. Check the local size and regulations and laws in your area, guys. Everything is different at different spots. Make sure to check it out and make sure you're following the rules. Going back to his girlfriend, I guess. The Sursky. That's a good way to wrap it up. We caught the peacock. We saved the turtles. Now, what else are we going to do? Let's go see if we have some lizards. Let's get He's digging. Look at him. Wow. That's what they do, they just dig, right? Yeah. Wow. They've gotten underneath our porch. Just keeps digging and digging and digging and digging. Put the trap out? Yeah, we can. All right, let's see if we can do it. Right, but, oh, he's eating something. He's hungry, he's feeding. Like Vanna White. <laughs> Use caution. Possible reptiles present in this area. Oh, really? We'll have to see about that. Those big amoebas, we left traps there, so they're sitting. It's hot, so we can't make sure everything's in the shade. And uh, we're just going to kill about five more minutes, and we're going to go back there. See if they're in the bag. All right, guys. Check this out. The sign wasn't lying. Look at that puppy right there. Just try to scare him and don't dive in, all right, dude? These things can walk on water. Just run up to him and scare him into the water. Oh. I don't care. All right, guys. Oh, we got something in the trap. So you try to mush them down, mush the trap down. Yep, just like that. Make sure that puppy don't get you. There he is. Hey, buddy. They are pretty. Look at his legs, it's like blue. Oh. oh. Don't bite me, we're friends. Calm down, guy. Wow, look at that. Insane. That's super cool, man. So they're cool. everywhere here. Yeah, look. Silly, silly amoeba. Trying to dig a hole. There he goes. It's like a baby tegu. All right, let's see. There's a lizard in the trap. Oh, yeah. We have a different one in there. It looks like a female, dude. Or a juvie. Yeah, I think that's a girl. Big one escaped. He's somewhere in here. He was smart. He's like, yeah, I don't know about that. Oh. Wow. Red. Yeah. And just pooed on me. Yeah. Interesting. Guys, drop some comments and let us know. Is this a female amoeba or is that a juvenile? She's got a like a red belly. It's pretty cool. Look at that right there. Looks like a tegu kind of. Drop some comments and let us know, guys. Well, guys, that's going to wrap everything up. Uh, huge shout out to our friend James for inviting us out here. And it was a pretty nice day, right, James? Yeah. We got some cool lizards, some peacock bass. This guy keeps trying to bite me. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and the turtles. And we got some turtles, guys. So we got just about everything today. Pretty cool, man. You know, it's really interesting. We're out here in Florida, guys. And it's, it's just interesting, the variety and different types of animals that are thriving in the same ecosystem. And m most of them are invasive species. They're yeah. not even from here. So it's pretty wild. We have animals from all over the world living in one area. Absolutely amazing. Uh, James, thoughts on today, dude? I had fun. You had uh, fun? It was cool. I had fun. Yeah, I mean, we had, we had great. We got on some. and uh, We definitely did. Took some invasive species out of the ecosystem. 
go ahead put him in the bag pretty james he's just started his youtube channel so if you guys want to check him out yep. his channel is doorstep adventures make sure and check him out he's just starting up so some support would definitely go a long way like button comments james thank you so much for the invite i'll see you guys on the next video appreciate it peace all right these are the baby turtles rafael and leonardo that we rescued from some peacock bass mm -hmm. and they are freaking just so cute wow they're tiny i can't tell if they're red ear sliders or not yeah they have yellow bellies i don't know but Dro look at oh no, no, yeah they're... whoa insane guys drop some comments and let us know what species these are absolutely incredible we caught them wild they just hatched out the egg and we saved them from getting eaten by big peacock bass there was a monster there